Hi everybody, my name is Debbie and I'm a Girl Scout leader. It's Fun Patch Party time! Don't you just love fun patches? They're fun to collect and fun to show off. When you have lots of patches on your Girl Scout vest or sash, it's kind of like a memory book. It shows all the fun things that you've done as a Girl Scout. But sometimes it's hard to remember just where to put those patches. So let's review. It's business on the front and party on the back. The front is the business side. This is where all the official badges, journeys, and pins that are part of the Girl Scout leadership experience are placed. The back is for all those fun patches and cookie patches too. So what goes on the back? All those fun patches. These include event patches for things like camping trips, council events, or museum visits. And cookie sale patches that are part of your cookie rewards. They could be patches for meeting someone special too. Patch program patches, even if they are earned, are also considered fun patches. These include patch programs offered by Girl Scout councils, patch companies, and other organizations. And if you run out of room on the front, you can put badges on the back too. If you have a sash, you may choose not to put fun patches on it at all. The way you place your patches is up to you, but I recommend that you start putting them on the bottom and work your way up. That way, if you need to put badges on the back of your vest, you can start those at the top. Put your patches close together and choose wisely. But what do you do if you have too many patches? Perhaps choose one cookie patch, not all five, or choose a special event patch and not the pizza party one. Girl Scouts love their patches and have come up with some creative ways to show them off. Some will add extensions or capes to a vest or even wear additional sashes over them. Another method is layering or fish scaling patches, but that adds a lot of weight to your uniform. Keep in mind that any alterations to your vests are unofficial and must be removable for your uniform to be worn for ceremonies or when representing Girl Scouts in the community. So where can you put your extra patches? How about on a tote bag or a piece of luggage? My daughter used this bag whenever she went to camp. You can put them on a jacket or on a cape or on a hat. Pin patches work on hats too. You can even trade patches like swaps and put them into a photo album. Here are some camp patches and patches from different Girl Scout councils. Or you can take a lesson from our sister girl guides and put them on a camp blanket. Many girl guides put a hood in the center and turn their patch blankets into wearable ponchos. It's a great way to keep warm and cozy at camp. And yes, you will have to learn how to sew. I recommend getting a thimble to use with those extra thick patches. Wow, so many good things that you can do with your patches. So now it's time to gather your collection, get your sewing kit together, and have some fun with your patches. And remember, it's business on the front and party on the back. Bye, Girl Scouts.